So we have the tunnel here divided into a court. We have the bottom zone, middle zone, and the top zone. The two bottom and the top zones are the zones where you can score points in for fl flying fast lines, okay? So if the person's flying upside down in a head down orientation, their head has to go under that zone, their full helmet, and the follower has to try and follow. If the follower doesn't go under that zone, then there's a bust and the follower gets a point. If they're going over the top line, it's the same, the helmet of both People have to go over for nothing to happen. If the follower doesn't follow them in, that's a bust. The other way you can score, uh, the same thing is with orientation for the head up. So if they're standing up, it's the feet that are judged, not the helmet. So we have another way to score, which is from tricks. So you can do tricks. The follower has to fly the same trick, rotational axis and direction that's performed by the leader. If they don't, it's a bust. The other thing is uh, penalties. If they do a dangerous move, trick, or something blind, that's a penalty as well. So we're about to crack on with the next couple of matches. Next up, we have Craig and Chad. They'll be up very soon. So back to you, Dukes and Right, Dolly. right, everyone. Thank you, Mason. Mason being one of the world's top flyers. How many hours you got there? In Australian maths, he has heaps of hours. Been flying for a very long time. Still looks young. Still looks fit, and is still at the top of his game. All right, we've got a bigger crowd here now, guys, so let's hear some noise for the competitors. Yeah. I'm here with Bonnie. She is also a shredder, and she's going to be competing later on as well in yeah. one of the main events. Great to be with you here, Bonnie. Righto, guys. First out, we have... Chad Gordon. Two, Chad's been one, flying for over 10 years now. Got into indoor body piloting after years of skydiving and a love for competition. Participated in Australian body piloting and dynamic flying competitions. High speed stuff, guys. Well over 200 k's an hour. Chad showcasing his moves here. Beautiful stuff, great exit. Very smooth. He's known as fast, powerful lines with some complex tricks. Let's see what he has up for grabs tonight. And his competitor, Craig Allender. Craig's been flying outdoors for eight years, indoor for six years. He enjoys two-way lead and follow with mates. And the BBC is his favorite competition format. Let's round of applause for Craig. Straight in there, look at that beautiful style. Where's he gone? There he is. Amazing stuff. Ah, and look at that exit, beautiful stuff. So, both boys in the white helmets. Chad's gonna be leading first. Chad's got his name on his jumpsuit. Let's see how we go. Straight in. Here we go, boys. Remember, the leader doesn't need to go below the bottom line, but the follower does. One foot, two feet, as long as they're under. Oh, straight into a bit of carnage. Very close to a hit there. Oh. Don't even know what that was, but that was sick. Craig getting under the line there, well done. Quite blind in some of the turns there. Very difficult, these side spins. Beautiful work getting under the line there. Craig really having to follow Chad there. Quite hard to see at times, especially when you're doing the spinning maneuvers, head down, head up. Beautiful stuff. 28 seconds to go. Oh, nearly another collision there. Very intense. These boys doing it 250 kilometers an hour, ladies and gentlemen. With only 16 feet of tunnel, things can go wrong very quickly. Down to the last 10 seconds. What's Chad got up his sleeve here? Beautiful head down turn there. Righto. Flashing lights, time to change. Righto, Craig, what's Craig gonna do? Here we go.
These boys are giving it to it, eh? High speed. Head down over the line. He doesn't quite clear that top line there. Oh, hitting the glass there with his head. It's hard to tell which one's which with both wearing the same suits, same shoes. You can tell they do a lot of flying together. These two, they know each other quite well. They have the competitor's edge. Flying together, making it for a tight competition here. I don't seem to be hitting that bottom line too much. These zones are quite tight, so the uh, lines to actually hit them, you've got to fly really big. There we go, Craig, getting in that top zone. Looks like Chad follows him. This is the biggest tunnel in Australia too, ladies and gentlemen. 16 feet. Boys utilising all the glass. Oh, Ooh. Chad misses it there. Craig's starting to put the gas on. He's been really training for this one. He wanted to show up to Chad because Chad got him last time. Under 30 seconds to go now. Will he step it up? Boys keep it tight and close. Very intense. It's like moving the cups with the balls in it. I don't know who's who at this point. Five seconds to go. Craig with an in-face breaker. Chad follows him. All over the belly to out right, face. Right, flashing lights. Boys giving it some. They don't want to leave. There we go. Look at that perfect dismount. Well done, gentlemen. Beautiful oh, round one. Nice work, round one. Craig's in the lead by four points at the moment. Let's see if Jake can catch him up on the next one. The boys trying to catch their breath now. They only have 45 seconds to do so. Definitely need to be an athlete at this point in body flying. Yeah, it takes it out of you sometimes, hey, when you're just sitting there, there, come out from the session. You fly three minutes, no worries normally, and then you go like this and it just absolutely ruins you. Intense stuff. Definitely gone of the 90s, that's for sure. Very technical stuff, these boys are flying. Right oh. Craig will be leading the first one. Craig with the bare back. Chad with the instructor label. It's the only way you can tell these boys apart. They're both flying incredible, and here we go. Craig in, ready for the one minute break and see if they caught their breath. Chad, big grin on his face. Boys enjoying it in there. It takes years to get this good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you can just get so intoxicated. Just oh. Sort of, oh, he spun the wrong way there. There was a bus for Chad. Missed that directional change. These directional changes can be quite hard to see which way they spin. Things happen so quick and you think they do a 360 to the left, you judge it to the right, and no, you miss it. It's really tricky to follow, especially the cartwheels, everything like that as well. Eyes like saucepans. Keeping an eye on everything. Yes, boys having a good time in there. 45 seconds to go. Oh, that top line, they're getting over it just. It's a lot harder to get that top line when you head up because your, your feet, you can't really see where that line is, so you've got to fly a lot further in the top of that diffuser to make sure you score those zones. Head down, it's a bit easier because you can kind of see when your head clears that line. Craig frying very aggressively there. Remember, these guys are doing over 250 kilometres an hour. Well, we've got 20 seconds left until they switch. Breathing's a big important one here. Trying to maintain that fitness. 10 seconds to go. Oh, and he cocks and he hits the wall. Playing catch up now. You can see now they're just doing a lot more layouts around the center of the tunnel. They're starting to get a bit tired. We have a direction change. Ooh, this is the good. equivalent of an hour long Ooh. CrossFit workout, ladies and gentlemen. It's all in three minutes. Oh, he matches at 360, he's got him. Ooh, here we go, we have a collision. But they recovered well. Remembering the follower must go below the lines to not bust. Oh, Craig just doesn't get under there. Oh, oh the blind spins. turn. He's lost oh, him there for a second. Out face again. Chad, little nod of acknowledgement. Under a minute to go now. Oh, and they have, oh, they just had a bit of a bro moment. Full eye contact. And off they oh. go again. Boys are getting tired. They're using every bit of energy and skill. 
Just throwing the kitchen sink at it. Oh, Charged incredible stuff there. Under 30 seconds to go now. So these guys are flying at 85%, so it's a bit middle high speed range. Imagine going down the freeway at 250 kilometers an hour and doing this stuff. Hopefully the freeway's vertical. <laughs> Another 360 there, Chad oh, matches at this time, all 540. Just got under the line Another there. Another 540, oh, he just Stepping it up with under 10 seconds to go. Has he catched him? Oh, he's caught him pretty good. Oh, and there we go. Beautiful stuff. They're out. Oh, oh a bit of a collision, oh, finishing Jackson. with a bang. Just got over the line there. Very good. Congratulations, boys. Well done. That was intense stuff. Right, oh, boys. Well done, Craig. Well done, Chad. Excellent stuff. Are you boys tired? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I think, should think so. That was intense stuff. Come on in. Calm that air down. It's nice in here now, but it was intense there a second ago. Round of applause for both these gentlemen. And it was close, boys. So with 24 points and the least amount of bus, we have Craig. Well done, buddy. Congratulations. Epic stuff, mate. How was that? Mate, intense. But yeah, thanks, Chad. That was sick. So much fun. Absolutely sick. And you guys had a couple of collisions there. Dad, yeah. did you recover? Yeah, going hard. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> But looking good, there's some intense stuff there. It's quite intense, uh, quite tricky stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely my, not my favourite speed, but uh, yeah, for sure. That's sick. How, how high was that speed? It was 85, but I'm quite light, so. Yeah. It was nice, though. It was sick to fly at that speed. It's good. Well, congratulations, epic stuff. And we have your the loser, but not the loser, because everyone's a winner here in the tunnel. How was that? Uh, that was intense. Like, props to Craig. He killed it, man. That's uh, super fast to fly in, and like, half of it's just getting the speed there. and. Uh, Half of the match, I just couldn't catch him, but like, dude, awesome. That was, you, got, to you guys get a bit tired there towards the end. You had a bit of a bro moment where you had some eye contact. <laughs> we, we, we generally have eye contact when we fly, and it, um, yeah, we try to, try to keep it just between ourselves, but you know. <laughs> well, beautiful stuff. A round of applause for these guys. Well done. Yeah, boys, nice one. All right, nice work, Duke. So next up, we have Donnie yeah, boys, and Amy. Amy. So, so this sick. one's for a title, title match. So, oh, we got a title match. Yeah, got a title one coming up. So uh, Amy has the Middle Speed Championship. So we've been donated some helmets for the title matches as trophies or as belts, essentially, like the uh, you'll see. But where Cookie has been generous enough to give us uh, three helmets for the next matchups for the Middle Speed, which is Donnie and Amy, and then we have Hi. the Middle High Speed, which is going to be. Jacob versus Liam. Liam's going to try and take that uh, title off Jacob. Um, and then we have, for the high speed, myself versus Dave. Dave's coming after me, so we'll see if I can defend that. Where's Dave Hyman? He's in the house. I think he's out stretching Yeah, somewhere. buddy. There he is. Looking like you two there. Epic stuff. All right, guys. So we'll get ready for this next matchup. We'll see if the competitors are ready. Look at those Thank helmets from Cookie as well, eh? Beauties. And, and we'll get this started. I challenge you to a dance off. Hands off, no trash talk, no back walk. On the black top, just me, you, that's all. No cat calls, no tag teams, no right. mascots. Right now, First. dance off. Get down the floor! Get down, Donnie, get down the floor! Donnie go. Go. Get down Absolute the floor! Absolute Donnie was just commentating with me a moment ago. Donnie's been flying for six years and started well, on my Royal butt. Caribbean cruises. I don't use it up. I say, there it is, then loosen my tux and then I... Tiny in stature, grand in ability. Beautiful in aerobatics. Her skill level, competent flyer, known for her freestyle elements and speed. Recent improvements include increasing rotations and faster dives, which we just saw then. Donnie also one of the commentators here tonight, so all the best there, Donnie. But her competitor, Amy Janison, she's coming out now. A round of applause for Amy, everybody. Her flying history. Flying for two and a half years after starting as a skydiver. Competed in all the BBC Women's Vertical World Records. Where's she gone? There she is. 
Look at that, smooth as silk. Both the ladies getting ready to shred, and this is for a title fight. The winner getting a cookie helmet. Looks like Dunny's going to be leading first. Three minute rounds, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, three minute rounds. Snails. That is tiring. I was just speaking to the girls before. They're both seeming super excited. And uh, I think there's a little bit of nerves in there as well. So it should be a good little flight tonight. It should be and cool. And I'm here with Shane Onus. I've known him before he was born. <laughs> Watching him shred as he grows up. And here we go, girls. Let's get Let's it, Let's go. go. Flashing lights. Oh, nice little reverse break off the top from Donny. Amy seems to be following really well. Oh, Donnie trying to catch her out with some spins, and she did. Amy keeping up with her now, though. Oh, beautiful flying from the girls so far. Everything seems nice and clean. Oh, nice. Oh, oh beautiful spins. Very high above the line there. Oh, Amy doing a real Ooh. good keeping up with those spins at the top there. One of the beauties of this sport is you can cross the line, not like society. <laughs> Damn, definitely, Donnie definitely isn't holding back here. She's definitely not. having a solid crack. And um, Whoa, oh, Amy needs to keep up here or there's going to be a crash. You don't go to a car race to watch a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how we go. Some beautiful, nice, clean beautiful. lines. Not a whole lot of tricks happening right now, but see how we go as the round progresses. Fluid stuff for the viewer. For everyone at home, these guys are doing 250 kilometers an hour, 20 seconds to go before the lead change. I think Donnie's slowing down a little bit for Amy just to give her a bit of a chance here, but now she's sped up again. I think so far this has to be the cleanest round that we've seen from any of the competitors. Everything seems super nice. Three super seconds flowing. to go. Beautiful stuff, very fluid. The ladies having some finesse, and we've got a That's lead change. Up. Amy, getting ready to shred, here we go. Let's watch Amy throw Ooh. down here. She's gonna throw, pull some tricks out of the bag, I reckon. What's she got? Nice, Ooh, look at that layout. change. Half 360. Oh, Donnie Ooh. almost, uh, not going under the line there. She's gonna have to do better than that if she wants to win this title. Amy, shortcutting across the tunnel there, not utilizing the 16 feet of this magnificent beast. These girls showing some really solid spins at the top tonight. Has to be the cleanest spins we've seen all night for sure. Beautiful stuff by both the ladies. Nice and clean in the second half of this run with 45 seconds to go. Not a whole lot of tricks going on. I'm quite surprised that it's just sort of super clean lines, couple spins here and there. Both yeah, the ladies going for consistency the over girls technical. Just trying to get them on the speed, I think. Yeah, that's right. There's consistency and a bit of speed in there as well, trying to bust them on the top and the bottom rings. Cool. Look at the girls go. We've got 20 seconds to go. Absolutely thrown down. Neither one of them is holding back here. This is really cool to see. Right, uh, under 10, 10 seconds to go, Lils. Looks like the score's super tight at the moment, I think. Here we go, the end of round one is coming. Lights are flashing. The girls don't Amy, want to leave the tunnel. Amy's ahead by three points. Oh, it's tight, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Wow, well awesome. done, girls. A quick break, a quick show of camaraderie. And yeah, I'm here with Shane Onus. How many uh, skydives do you have, Mr. Onus? I'd be getting close to about 6,000 now, a bit over 6,000. And didn't you just win a competition just recently? No, I did not win a competition recently. <laughs> I made it home safely from a competition. Right, that's close <laughs> enough. In yeah, this day be... and age, yeah, not bad, it's all the not fashion bad. not making it home these days. That's right, that was the goal. Come home safely, no broken bones. And uh, yeah, we did that. So I was pretty happy with that. And when was your first skydive? My first skydive was in 2009. And how old were you? Tandem. I was eight years old. Eight years old. Basically 16, ladies and gentlemen, for all the FAI I judges out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Shane's dad being Phil Onus, one of the biggest legends in the sport today. As the girls get ready to go, all right, under 10 seconds. <laughs> here we go. Starting to round off super tight. Amy is ahead by three points, or reverse, yeah, I should here say. Here we go. Starting off fast and smooth with some outfacing carving at high speeds. Donnie disappearing from sight there for a oh, second. Amy throwing some nice twists at the top there. That was really nice. 
Beautiful stuff by both the girls. Really high level of flying here today. Very smooth. Both the girls doing incredibly well. Both That's going under the line. Super deliberate with all the moves and all the placement in the lines. For the people at home, this is technical flying at its finest. Oh, a quick touch of the net there by Donny. Ooh. Beautifully fluid lines. A little anti break at the top. I think Donny might have just missed that one on the direction of the twist. Amy hitting the wall there for a split second. Gonna have to clean that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, almost bouncing off the net there, using every bit of the tunnel. Amy absolutely throwing down here. Everything we are under 20 got. seconds. Fast and furious flying by the girls here. You can see Amy's head hit the net plenty of times, the big black streak on her helmet. Ooh, and here we go, lights will breaker. flash. Let's go, let's see what Donnie's got in the last round here, see what she's going to pull out of the bag. Lead change, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie just throwing some incredible stuff. Top. She is definitely not holding back here. It's all coming out in the last round. Double breakers, flip twists, fast lines. What else has she got? Oh, bouncing off the net there, high speeds, using every part of the tunnel here to catch Amy out. Oh, we got some double spins at the top as well. Fast flying. They're all coming out now. Amy doing a really Whoa. good job of keeping up here. She's managing to keep up, stay with all the tricks. She might have just missed the front layout at the top of that one. The score is still super close, 15 and 17. Under a minute to go now, and this is three-round title fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. oh, big flip twist at the top. Amy's missed that Donnie. one, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> We're seeing the reaction too. Incredible stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's Donnie's secret weapon here when she needs it. She's got a bunch of different flip twists in the bag that she can just pull out out of nowhere. Catching just like her that. out, out of the view of the crowd there. Cheeky stuff. Slowing it down now, nice and smooth. Let's see what she's got in store for Amy Ooh, there. Oh. That was tricky. Amy might... I'm not too sure. She might have had that. 15 seconds to go. Wow, oh, look at that bounce off the net by both the girls. Looks like Donnie has picked up her scores here. She's got quite a lead from this last 30 seconds or so. Lights are flashing. These guys get well a 60-second break nice now. Well done. A quick rest, and they're going into round three. This is a title fight. Winner gets a cookie helmet. Fun fact about Cookie is that he used to lead the Australian eight-way team way back in the day, and now he's the leading helmet manufacturer in the whole world, giving away one of his beautiful, three of his beautiful helmets tonight. As the girls take a quick rest to sit down. This is the equivalent of a five-round UFC fight, guys. Here we go, 20 seconds to go. The girls getting their last little breaths in. And it looks like we're going to the third round with a 10-point lead for Donny. Let's see how we go. Donny is going to lead the first one. Using all their strength, mental and physical energy. And three, two, one. Here we go. Right. Oh, held onto the wall as she got in. Beautiful Straight stuff. In a little 180 to head up. Let's see if Donny keeps his momentum into the third round. Nice following by Amy. Beautiful stuff at high speeds these guys are doing. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, Amy might have just missed that on the last part of that transition there. There are 8 billion people not doing this tonight. Oh, tricky moves by Donny. Catching Amy out a little bit here, but she's keeping up. Oh, smashed oh, into the glass. She's got the lines. Amy definitely has the lines there, but there's just a couple of of the spins that she's missing that Donnie's catching her out on. The skill level taken to do these maneuvers is incredible. It takes years and years of practice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, caught Amy out there. She didn't finish the maneuver. As we get down to 30 seconds. 
Big spins off the top again from Donny. Nice following by Amy. Oh, catching her out again. Very technical stuff by Donny. Amy struggling to keep up at this point. Doing an incredible job. Donny really shining in this round, though. Donny has done a really good job of getting her points back in this leading, so it's going to be up to Donny and her leading to see if she can get that, uh, get that gap back in the points. And we have a lead change, ladies and gentlemen. Last round. What have we got for Donny? Amy, correction. Oh, Amy catching her out straight away. Oh, nice work by both the ladies there. Amy moving fast, swift, and fluid. Donny keeping up with out of trouble at this point. Oh, getting under the lines there nicely by Donny. Oh, a little half break at her head down. Remembering Donnie the leader right doesn't there. need to go under the line, but the follower does. Bit of knee flying in amongst it all too. Good to see. It looks easy, but it's very difficult. That was close. Looks like Donnie is doing a really good job of staying with all of Amy's lines. It doesn't look like she's hit her on too many points. Nice little spin there from the top. Amy trying to catch Donnie out of her own game as well with some of those head down tight spins. Oh, a little reverse break on the bottom into out face. Under 30 seconds to go. They're surely they're getting tired with only 15 seconds to go, using every bit of energy. 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Amy catching herself out there. Well as done, we girls. That was by far my favorite flight of the night to watch. That was super Beautiful cool. stuff. The Round of applause. Absolutely throwing down and Amy doing an awesome job to keep up with Donnie's moves. That was really cool to watch. Nice one, girls. Incredible stuff. But like always, we have a winner. Right, hey, ladies. Holy moly. How is that? Terrifying. I was going to say the same. It looked amazing from the outside. Come on in, girls. Looking good, looking good. First title fight of the night. Gave the crowd something to go for. Unbelievable. But like always, we have a winner with only 22 busts. Donnie, congratulations. Well done. And here's Mason to give you an epic prize. What do you have to say about that? Not much. <laughs> I've used all of my words commentating with you earlier, to be honest. It's pretty epic flight, buddy. Pretty epic stuff. So some really technical maneuvers. We couldn't even see them, though, so high. Oh, uh, yeah, that maybe wasn't so intentional, the height, but... <laughs> uh, looking good, looking good. And uh, how many hours in the tunnel do you have? Uh, I don't really know, but I've been flying for maybe, like, seven years. The Australian version of heaps. Heaps of hours. Well, congratulations to Donnie. Well done, mate. Beautiful round of applause. And to Amy, how is that? You puffed? You should be. Mm -hmm. Scary. Absolutely terrifying. A couple of moments there were pretty intense, hey? Yeah, my goal was not to hit the wall and I was not successful. We're going to have to clean that tomorrow too. Five bucks. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but you definitely gave Donnie a run for her money with a couple of those maneuvers. Is that part of the plan? Yeah, I try to do what I can. <laughs> well, I think it's beautiful stuff. Are we going to have a rematch next year or what? That's a yes to me. Well done, ladies. Congratulations. Big round of applause for the girls, everyone. No worries. Right, we're going to have a quick, uh, quick thank you from our sponsors here. The one and only Cookie Composites, Cookie Helmets, one of the biggest legends in the sport. Old teammate of mine, actually a team captain, making the best helmets on the planet. We've got XRG Flight Dub. I fly down under. Congratulations. For, uh, thank you for sponsoring this event, guys. Round of applause for those guys. And of course, we have Down Under Dynamics, all sponsors of this event this evening. How's everyone going? Good? You want to see some more? I'm in a tunnel, I can't hear you. We're going to be right back with some more title fights, guys. Let's do it.
win, we are Robin. Crossroads and start feeling mixed signals like Morse code. My soul start to grow colder than the North Pole. I try to focus on the hole of where the torch goes. In the tradition of these legendary sports pros. As far as I can see, I've made it to the threshold. Lord knows I waited for this a lifetime. And I'm an icon when I let my light shine. Shine bright as an example of a champion. Taking the advantage, never copping out or canceling. Burn like a chariot, learn how to carry it. Maverick, always above and beyond. Average fuel to the flame that I train with and travel with. Something in my eyes say I'm so close to having the prize. I realize I'm supposed to reach for the skies. Never let somebody try to tell you otherwise. And this is uh, doing a good job trying to hold on, but Bella actually uh, had probably her best round in round three. It's good to see she's turned it up. Turn it up. One flame, one bonfire, let it burn higher I never show signs of fatigue or turn tired Cause I'm the definition of tragedy turned triumph It's David and Goliath, I made it to the eye of the storm Feeling torn like they fed me to the lions Before my time start to wind down like the Mayans I show them how I got to grind down like a science It sounds like a riot on hush, it's so quiet The only thing I hear is my heart I'm inspired by the challenge that I find myself Standing eye to eye with The move like a wise warrior and not a Coward. You can't escape the history that you was meant to make That's why the highest victory is what I'm meant to take You came to celebrate, I came to celebrate I hate losing, I refuse to make the same mistakes Right, hey guys, if you haven't got a beer, get a beer if you haven't got some food, come grab some food. I can see Brendan chowing down there, making use of the free food there, buddy. Well done. I taught you well over there in Europe. The more you eat, the more you save. And this has been an incredible event so far. We have two title matches to go. So what is body piloting, you may ask? Body piloting is a follow-the-leader competition where the leader flies fast, precise lines, and the follower must match those lines and the tricks. Similar to two skateboarders chasing each other in a half pipe, except this half pipe is going at 250 kilometers an hour and the crashes can be a lot more brutal. How's my hair? Better than mine. <laughs> Donnie's coming to join us for the next round. Gales. Donnie Gales. Gales like gale force winds. I was born to be in this sport, everyone. Like. Dugs, like beer and drugs, Dugs, same sort of thing. <laughs> Flying some lines, wouldn't mind a couple myself. Getting tired here from watching you guys shred. <laughs> Righto, and now for match six, it's gonna be Jacob Logan versus Liam Hoffman. Coming right up. Now both of them, uh, one is a current instructor, Liam used to work here. Um, both very good flyers. So it should be a good match. <laughs> good words. And uh, I don't like to have favorites here, but Jacob is my tunnel coach and he has saved my life on many occasions with that amazing mustache that he has. Jacob's gonna be coming out first, loving his punk rock. Oh, but Just Liam's kidding. actually coming out. The Liam Hoffman. Very uncurrent, um, but he's always got a few tricks up his sleeve. Straight in there. He's flying history. He started skydiving way back in 2012. They got into tunnel flying in 2015. Now, Liam's one of those people that's just good at everything. Um, so naturally, he was pretty good at flying. He's not very good at ball sports, though. Now he's got a mix of tricks, lines, with a preference for fast, smooth manoeuvres, known for his relaxed, laid-back attitude. 
but competitive flying. So this is going to be tight, this meet. And, and next out, we have Jacob Logan, a tunnel fly here at Unlife. Need you to pray for me. And the brown suit looking good, flying since 2019 and skydiving since 2016. Style points 100. Perfect layout there. Both boys in extremely tight suits from Deem. <laughs> Loves it. I hope these guys know each other. <laughs> this is like the, the dynamic flyer um, beginner kit. You have to have a Deem and a Sky helmet, some Nikes. That's ah. like the setup that you're going for. So if you want to be a good dynamic flyer, go out and buy those items. And the boys straight into it, 90 seconds. Who is leading? Uh, Jake, it looks like, looks like Jacob's leading, yep. Beautiful stuff, very visible, both these boys. And these guys are flying at 85%. Which is 250 kilometers an hour. Crazy stuff. Oh, Liam smashes the net and he's behind. Jacob really firing on all cylinders at the get-go. There we go. He's back on track now, people. He's back. Both boys going underneath the lines. I can't see any bus so far, but they will come. Jacob flying slower than normal. <laughs> oh, they got a collision or was that a high five? They're just bros, you know, got to have a little contact in there, a little bro hug. Bros before toes. <laughs> Jacob looking smooth, taking his time up there. Liam following nicely. Whoa, oh. tricky maneuver there. Caught him out for a second. Doesn't quite follow the trick exactly the same, I don't think. It's hard to... 10 seconds tell. to go until payback time for Liam there. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see what Liam's got. He's quite an innovative uh, flyer, so he should have some interesting uh, things to follow. Very tight sleeves. I don't know if he's got anything up them. <laughs> As we have a leader change, here we go. 90 seconds on the clock. All right, Lee Lee, let's go. Both boys flying extremely well. Oh, just, just got nice on the line and smooth, there. smooth, getting up in Jacob's face. Whilst it's fast and furious, it's very quiet in those helmets. That's why they wear them for full visibility. A quick Ooh. pause there. I think Jacob threw some extra spins, so he got a little behind. The technical term. As the boys, a bit of a drop knee there. Some more things. Some busts happening. <laughs> Couple of busts happening. Liam flying beautifully here. Oh, that was that was speedy. Took a, took a pause there to catch him out, which he did. There we go. There's Liam coming out in full Liam fashion. Some nice sort of stalls and spins. 30 seconds on the clock of round one. Oh, quick change there. He hit the wall. Jacob oh, getting caught oh, out. Oh, almost a little collision there. Just got into some stall moves and one wrong move and... You're almost in someone's lap. Oh, it's all going. 10 seconds to go. Things are getting crazy. Must be some rarefied air molecules in there. Looking smooth now as a final. Back on track with as the As they boys. finish round one. All right. Oh! oh. <laughs> Liam trying to catch Jacob out there. Doing a bit of mischief there, mate. Oh, yeah, that looked a bit tactical, didn't it? Quite intense. Good trying on him. Trying to make him miss the exit. Some boys having some f firm words to each other yeah. in there, I think. I think that was pretty dirty. Yeah. Clean up your act, boys. Sportsmanship. All right. Currently, we've got Jacob with 11 busts and Liam with 7 busts. So, tight, but Liam is currently in the, the winning position. Crazy stuff. They both look like Power Rangers, actually. <laughs> Looking good. And those gloves, ladies and gentlemen, they're not for golf. They are tunnel-specific gloves. Used to going at high speeds with those steady high fives, but not tonight. These boys are going head-to-head -head as we start round two in under five seconds. All right. Here we go, boys. Liam is leading. And that was a technical start by Liam. Followed with ease by Jacob. Boys stepping up, high speeds, high action. 
90, 90 seconds to do their manoeuvres. Utilising all of the tunnel there. Oh, that was a late throw by Liam, which is quite tactical. Sort Liam. of makes you have to throw something last second and maybe not have maximum control. Jacob playing catch up here. Both boys have similar experiences and are both shredding here tonight. Whoa. Jacob missing the line there. He's definitely picked up a couple more busts and so missed far. missed again. Jacob. Liam really taking it down there. Very technical flying by Liam as we get down to almost oh, 30 missed. seconds. He's picked up the, um, the trick ratio here. There's definitely been a couple more tricks and flips and things. Definitely intense stuff. Jacob needs to lift his game or I'm going to have to get coached by Liam next week. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Righto, 15 seconds to go. Liam really shining on this one. Both boys flying very smooth lines right now, though. Oh, I think maybe Jacob may have rolled the wrong way. I don't I know. know. Well done, Liam. As it's payback time now, Jacob taking yeah. the lead in round two. Let's What's see it? what he's going to do to make a comeback from this. He's got to collect nine more busts. Ha has he Liam. got any tricks up his sleeve? We shall see. Definitely then. That was a bust. Beautiful stuff by Jacob. Both boys moving quite fast, using all of the tunnel, both vertically and horizontally. Couple of busts there for Liam. Jacob definitely shining on this round. This is very intense stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is tunnel flying at its finest. Liam is following like a bloody champion. Jacob doing his best to shake him, but Liam right there. 45 seconds to go, round two. All right, that was a nice technical, just smooth dynamic out face, in face, little section. I like that. Otherwise known as flipty doodles to the layman. <gasps> so many maneuvers these guys are doing. Incredible stuff. Quick bit of eye contact there for Ooh, sure. Oh, Jacob has picked it up. So we're one point between them currently. Will he get one more bus before oh. the end of this round? That has is he incredible. Done it? He's done it. He has done it with 10 seconds 10 to go. 10 seconds. He's done it. It's a draw. This it's is a tight. Draw. No. And he's lost the shoe. <laughs> Michael <And> Schumacher. <laughs> Epic stuff. All right. We've come out from that One round. One minute. And Jacob is now in the lead, people. This is going to be a tight match. The shoe is now in Penrith Car Park. Will he have to compete with one shoe or will he take his shoe off? Hopefully. It did will... he lose one or did he find one? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it should descend soon. Do a shoey. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Good advertisement there for Nike. He's only got 40 seconds there to do his shoelaces up properly. <laughs> Will he do it? Jacob really coming through there. Yeah, he pulled that one out, didn't he? One point um, currently like in the lead now, so he's got 16 busts. Liam has 17. And how many manoeuvres are there in dynamic flying, Bonnie? Donnie? Bonnie Doon? Um, really uh, unlimited. You can, you can pretty much do anything. Sick. That's what I like. <laughs> Basically, as long as it's um, continuing to move, uh, and it's followable, which means you have to move out of the, the area that the next flyer is coming to. You can sort of be really creative and, and make up your own stuff. And what happens if you touch the glass? Is that a deduction of a point or is that okay? No, so we don't have any deduction if we just touch the glass and it doesn't affect, I guess, your, your flying. Um, if you, you know, fully wanged out, then yes. As Go. the boys get back in there and start with Jacob leading for the last round of its title fight. The title flight, actually. We've Jacob some, catching him out early yeah, on there. Some tight lines there. They're a little bit hard to follow sometimes because you are so used to flying using all of the space. Jacob using the skills from the Gold Coast and Brisbane tunnels there. 
just knowing that they're blind turns when they do over one rotation. Jacob hitting the glass there quite hard. That'll bruise him up tomorrow. Both guys flying beautiful stuff with under a minute to go. Yeah, really good. Liam's only had maybe three more busts or four. Um, so he's, he's really holding on well. And this is a tight match, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob showing his stuff there. Liam keeping up, though. Head on a swivel. Incredible moves by both these guys. Oh, a nice full breaker there. Liam, so Liam has the opposite good side to everyone. So ah. when it's Jacob's good side, it's Liam's bad side and vice versa, which I guess is another sort of interesting component of this matchup. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. There's two sides to this story. One's a good side, one's a bad side. Who will it be with under 10 seconds to go? Jacob really shining on this one. Yeah, he's, he's quite a bit in the lead now, but we've obviously got a minute and a half of Liam to lead where Jacob can pick up those busts. So and a lead change, here we go. Let's Final see. Final round. Liam looking smooth. Jacob just trying to keep up. Oh, he made it just over the line there. Oh, Liam. He's forced Jacob to knock under the line there. That will be a bust. Oh. And oh! another bust. Oh, oh. Here we go. Gloves oh, are off, ladies no. and gentlemen, as we come into the final minute. No holds barred here. That's what happens when you try too hard, people. You go out the door sometimes. Do not try. Just do. All right, it's as the close. Boys go. Tw oh, it's a tie at the moment. We've got 50 seconds to, do to go. This means Jacob cannot get one more bust. Oh, and he just got a bust. Ah. <laughs> You jinxed him. I'll tell him that. <laughs> Liam flying smooth there. Jacob all in a flutter now. Keeping his composure now again as he goes back under the line. Hopefully he can keep it this tight though. 30 seconds and he's only one point different. So. Jacob flying fast and precise there. Jinxed him again. <laughs> it comes in threes too. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> one more then, eh? <laughs> Not this time though. He gets under the line then. With 10 seconds to go. All right, yep. Almost done, boys. Intense stuff, intense stuff. The most stressful part of your day is almost over. Nine minutes of flying, ladies and gentlemen. As we finish up, unbelievable stuff. These boys don't want to leave the tunnel, but here they go. Boom. Give it up for Jacob and Liam, everyone. Good job, boys. That was a very close match. Very good flyers. I'm good at this, aren't I? Well, we don't have a result yet, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to the judges. Ooh. There might be some points missed there. Controversy exactly right when we need it. These boys both tired, they may have to do another round. Liam's looking refreshed, no, he's not refreshed, he just gave a big sigh. Oh, we're going to the video, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants them to do another round, everyone? I think we're doing another round. One more round of applause for these guys, let's get it going, everyone. Who thinks they should turn the speed up to 90%? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to 90%, everyone. Give them another round of applause. We're building up. Tie your shoes up, by the way, there, Liam. Your shoes are looking good there, Jacob. <laughs> These boys not even hardly tired at all by the looks of it. It just shows their stamina and determination. How's that moustache flying at 85% there? Looking good, mate, looking good. 90 will be good. Liam, how do you feel about 90%? Bring it on, mate, yeah. Right, 90% equals 270 kilometres an hour, ladies and gentlemen. These boys getting a quick rest, deep breaths, hydrating off their own sweat. All right, should we see who the crowd favourite is? If your favourite is Liam, give us a big woo! Oh, that was pathetic. Three, two... 
one, Liam. Uh-oh, and if All your right, favourite that's... is Jacob, give us a big round of applause for Jacob, everyone. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him in there. Psych him out. As we're getting ready for the fourth and final round, these boys are what we call knackered, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be using all their talent, all their skill and all their energy. Who has been on the beers in the last week and who's been doing yoga? We'll find out. It appears Jacob might have been on the beers. <laughs> uh, the way Liam's looking, he might have been with him at the time. I think these boys both have been on the beers <laughs> for, their, for their lead up to the match. That was their workouts. Um, no yoga was participated in. <laughs> They've taken this athletic um, approach. D definitely looking good. Intense stuff for the people at home. These guys are flying at between 250 and 270 kilometers an hour. And that is very tiring after even a minute. And these guys have already done nine minutes with three more minutes to go. All right, so this is the deciding round, I guess. Is it whoever wins this wins overall? Yep. Right and we're and starting with Jacob uh, for the first leader. What's your, who's your money on there, Donny? I, I feel like I have to have a bias in this situation because Jacob's my partner, so. Right, I uh, well, I'm gonna go for Liam then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, you're the only person supporting <laughs> yeah. Liam in the building, so. <laughs> well, Jacob trying to catch him out. Liam keeping up though very well as we go into almost a minute to go. Nice, yeah, you can definitely tell the speed difference in um, 90%. Both boys enjoying the high speed, but it takes it out on their body even more. Definitely less um, options to throw um, interesting tricks and stuff. Why more is that, Donny? Just, just higher speed is more difficult to, to throw things. I guess. Ooh. Oh, hey. Hey. just as shown by Liam Definitely, there. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to go for Jacob too at this point. <laughs> Both the gentlemen, they're looking good. Very tiring stuff. As we are down to almost 30 seconds to go in the first heat of round four. Liam's falling behind slightly. He's definitely not as uh, tight on Jacob oh. as he was in the other matches. Oh, and matches. he missed the line there, Liam. Gets it on this occasion, though. Very sharp movements by both the gentlemen. Yeah. Very oh. difficult act to follow with Jacob there. Ooh, I'm not sure what that was. That didn't look good, but it probably was. No, it was a, a little um, bounce above the line. It's a, it's a move. I like it. Five seconds to go until we have the lead change. Three. Two, one, flashing lights. All right, so we've got 12 busts there by Liam. Let's see how we go for this next minute and a half. All right, Liam, final chance to Bust. catch Jacob out. Oh! oh! Was that a move? I don't think so. Boy! And it's getting intense. Both the boys getting tired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Side bumping each other at 270 kilometers an hour. He's That's, holding on. He's doing well. We are down to Will a he minute. Will make it to the end? A minute to go, ladies and gentlemen. These boys using every bit of energy as Jacob misses the line again, has a bust. Boys are going to be knackered after this one, giving it everything they've got. This is. Jacob really keeping up with Liam here. As Liam looks like he's getting tired. Whoa. There's a lot of uh, stall movements happening in this round, so definitely different oh. to those really smooth dynamic lines. Intense stuff, really showcasing the skill level at the highest end. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds and it's 10 busts with Jacob and 12 busts on Liam. Will he get... I might go for Liam again. <laughs> it's going to be a close one, guys. Tight. Imagine if this was a tie again. Imagine another round. <laughs> Who wants to see round five, ladies and gentlemen? Woo. Ten seconds to go. One point difference. This is tight. Oh Come on, gentlemen. Gosh. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. Hey, right oh. on. Oh, my God. Exit. Exit. Exit, exit, exit. Both gentlemen can hardly walk. Oh, that was 
That was very close. Unbelievable stuff by Jacob and Liam. Woo. That could have gone either way. At any point. Either way. I never ever doubted Jacob. He was always going to win. I knew. Right, hey, ladies and gentlemen. You got these boys cool down for a second. Take a breath. Right, there's, a bit, even con there's even controversy on the scoreboard here. Can't even trust the judges these days. Someone paid someone a couple of beers. Are we going to another video, Raf? Are we going to another round? <gasps> Who would like <laughs> no. to see another round? <laughs> right, hey, boys. Well, that was intense. Unbelievable stuff by two extremely talented flyers. Grab a breath, boys. Jacob's leaving. He's back here, mate. Unbelievable stuff. Well, big round of applause for both these gentlemen. And we have the winner by one point. Jacob, well done, mate. Looking good. And you get a cookie helmet. Look at that beautiful beast. And how are you feeling, mate, after that? You look knackered. Yeah, I'm knackered, dude. I'm happy to be finished. Sorry, there's going to be no more rounds. I'm done for the night. I'm going to get on the beers now, for real. And you had a few collisions there. It's pretty intense stuff, eh? How do you feel chasing Liam there? Oh, good, man. There's no one I'd rather hit into than Liam, so it's all good. Side bumps at 270 k's an hour. Yeah, it's all good. He can take it. He's sweet. What was your favourite, leading or following? Which was the most difficult for you on this one? Uh, I definitely think leading's a little less stressful. Following's pretty hard, especially when we're going that fast, and it gets pretty messy, um, so it's hard to follow the tricks. They keep coming hard and fast, so... Incredible stuff, mate. I can't wait to be in the tunnel with you next week, licking some windows. Well done. Congratulations to Jacob. Awesome stuff, mate. And Liam. How was that, buddy? Yeah, yeah, good. Definitely, definitely not tunnel fit at the moment. Um, I can totally feel that, but no, it was fun. It was you fun. definitely look good, mate. You definitely look good. And how was that fourth round, though? You had to pull out all stops. Uh, I wasn't prepared for that. I was, I was already heading to the kitchen for a beer. And how did you feel on that collision? Did it hurt anything, or was it clean? No, no. I think Jacob took the brunt of it. Um, I came out pretty unscathed. Yeah. Epic stuff, mate. Well, congratulations to both of you guys. Well done, Liam. Awesome stuff. Well done, everybody. Give him a round of applause. His shoelace is undone again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Can someone teach this guy how to do his laces? <laughs> All right, guys. Next up, we have uh, Mason versus Dave. The big one. And this is the last title fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be huge. Both these gentlemen are not just world-class flyers, but they're on top of the world-class flyers. And because of all the intensity, we're going to have a five-minute break, ladies and gentlemen. So grab a beer, grab a wine, grab a girl, grab a guy. You've got five minutes, and we'll be right back after these messages. And a quick, uncomfortable silence. How is that, Bonnie? Donnie, I keep calling you Bonnie. My, I, I live in, I live in Bonnie, I live in Bonnigan, and I love Bonnie Doon. <laughs> and I'll get your name right one day. Seems we've known each other for so many hours. <laughs> right, hey guys, we're back soon. Stay tuned. guys and we are back live for the final of this year's body pilot championships the bbc here in Penrith, sydney give it up for everyone all the competitors and we have the final match featuring mason corby and dave heidman both incredibly talented flyers these guys are going to be flying at max speed 
which they call high speed, 270 kilometers an hour. I'm back here with Donnie, eating her strawberries, doing her yoga, getting ready for all things good. Not like the 90s, we had a different things. <laughs> but we're not in those 90s anymore. And we are getting ready for an epic final match. <laughs> Athletes. Uh, athletes. Right, oh, what music are they going to come out to? Who's coming out first? It's going to be Dave Hyman out first. Dave Hyman flying for 12 years and started skydiving at the age of 17, inspired by wingsuit base jumping. Dave's in the red suit with the black helmet. Let's see what he's got. Extremely technical and talented flyer. He prefers flying lines with seamless transitions between tricks. Looking good. Focusing on clean and methodical execution rather than fast tricks. Next, we have Mason Corby. Mason Corby, one of the legends of tunnel flying, skydiving and base jumping and the owner of Down Under Dynamics. Look at this badass mofo. Flying for 14 years, started tunnel flying to improve skydiving. And he, this is the creator of the Body Flying Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Skill level, very high, tactical flying with fast, intelligent lines. Excels in fast lines and aggressive, strategic maneuvers. A lot of big words there. Who do we have leading first? Okay, we have Dave Hyman leading first in the red suit, Mason in the blue, as we get ready for the final match of the evening, the title fight, and here we go. All right, expecting some just really clean, fast lines here from Dave. Beautiful. These guys know each other for a long time now. They know each other's skills and weaknesses. Both of these guys have been, been in the tunnel a lot this week, so both of them are quite current. These guys are the Formula nice. One of wingsuit flying, uh, wingsuit flying, tunnel flying, <laughs> and wingsuit flying. They do everything. Dave flying very fast, clean lines here. Really clean, but apparently no busts so far. Both guys extremely talented at the highest end of the sport. As we are at a 45 seconds to go and still no bust. Remembering guys, 270 kilometers an hour these guys are doing. 90% of the tunnel's capacity. So much power being used, it's probably dimming the suburbs' lights. All right, so we just had our first bust then at a minute into the round. 30 seconds to go. Second bust. Getting tired early, maybe. Oh, big, powerful lines by Dave. Super clean lines, though. These would be lovely to follow. I think um, the general consensus is that this game makes you play a little dirty sometimes and fly not exactly how you like to fly. Oh, there we go. We have a leader change. Mason about to take over. Here we go. Mason, a local here at Penrith. Dave, a world traveler. Oh, as he hits the glass there and misses the line. We're even money right now. Oh, bouncing off oh. the net. That's a trampoline move, that one. Dave, not going anywhere near the line there. Understandable. Mason turning it up. Catching Dave out. Dave has managed to follow most of it thus far. Incredible what these guys can do, even after they've hit the glass. No time for reset. So you can already see sort of the difference in Ooh. style, I guess. Mason has thrown a couple of more intricate tricks, I guess, whereas Dave's flying is very technical, fast and smooth. Dave being in the red shoot suit should be faster. Let's see how they go with under 30 seconds to go. Mason spinning dizzily as Dave hits the glass. Nearly came out into the crowd. We would have had to push him back in. Incredible flying by these guys with 15 seconds to go. 
these guys unaware of the crowd watching. Yeah, but as they come into the end of round one, let's give them a round of applause, everyone, so they can hear us. Oh, beautiful stuff. Mason got the makings of a mullet back there with that beautiful hairstyle. <laughs> All right, so we've got um, Dave currently with 15 busts and Mason with two busts. So it'll be interesting to see whether maybe Dave pulls a, a few more tricks into the next round or whether he sticks true to himself. We will Ooh, see. We shall see. Will he be true or will he get it done? What's needed here? With Mason's going to be leading the first one. These guys taking some deep breaths here. Both seasoned veterans, very fit in the tunnel. As we're down to 15 seconds of rest to go, Mason closing the eyes and drawing on every bit of his skill and determination. Great sportsmanship there by the guys. Three, two, one, and here we go. Flashing lights, let's have it. All right, Mason leading for the beginning of round two. Straight into some technical flying. Dave keeping up though, very tight. Mason very fast Ooh. and fluid through these moves. Dave having to pin drop. Unbelievable flying here for the last flight of the night, everyone, with a minute to go. First part of round two. Oh, Dave missing the line there. That's a bust. Lots of multiple um, rotations and I guess almost like combos. So Mason's not just throwing one spin, he's throwing a spin into another spin in, di in a different orientation, which, make, which makes it really hard to follow. High speed combinations with spins. Both guys really tearing it up right now. Years and years of experience, hundreds if not thousands of hours of flying to get to this point. This is the goal for every tunnel flyer out there. Oy. Oh, Dave missing the line there as we're 10 seconds to go. That was kind of cute though, they were face to face. Yeah, for a, a bit of a bromance there for a second. Three seconds, two seconds, one second as the lights flash, leader changes, and here we go. All right, Dave, let's go. So Dave's got 24 busts, Mason's got two. Let's see what Dave can pull out for this round. Dave going high there above the line, trying to catch Mason out. Mason right on his heels. Heads on a swivel. Oh, Oy, Mason, that took Mason him out. Mason misses the that, transition. That is what the crowd oh. came here to see. More of that, gentlemen. Let's do this. One minute to go. This is Dave's chance to catch him out and get oh, him out. There he we did. go. And it's thrown Mason out. Will he mentally and emotionally come back from this? <laughs> I dare say he has a fighting chance still. Dave probably got a smirk on his face, but we can't see him. He's moving that fast. Mason composed again now. He's caught back up, got his head back in the game. Incredible stuff as we reach 30 seconds to go of round two. Calm and collected. Oh, some extra spins. Catching Mason out there. That was technical stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it looked epic. Couple more busts there for Mace. Getting those points a little higher. As we come down to 10 seconds to go, round two, everyone. Nice, Dave. Getting a little bit more ahead on the lines, Mace. So tight. One last trick as we close out round two. Unbelievable. These guys don't even want to finish. They're having too much fun. Right, give them a round of applause, everyone. Unbelievable stuff. And these guys coming out of the tunnel late, they only have 50 seconds to catch their breath, recompose, and get ready for the final round of the 2024 Body Piloting Championships here at Penrith, Sydney. Couple of bit of kerfuffle moments in there for Mace. So we'll see um, where his uh, head is at for the next round. Very intense stuff. 
Once you get behind the eight ball, it is hard to get back in front. While we're having a break, a quick stay, a quick thank you to our sponsors, Cookie Helmets, XRS Flight Dub, I Fly Down Under, and Down Under Dynamics for having us here tonight. A round of applause for the sponsors for making this possible. And as you can hear, the tunnel is winding up. The big fan is getting going, and we are into the final round. And here we go. All right, Dave leading first. Straight up and into it. Just getting in the door of this thing at high speeds is crazy enough, let alone doing what these guys are doing. Dave making it hard for Mason. Mason only just skimming under the line there. Yeah, he's only just made it for those the line busts. These boys, seasoned veterans of high speed flying, as you can clearly see, making it look easy. I can guarantee you it is not, ladies and gentlemen. There's a reason why three-year-olds could play soccer, but Boom. not everyone could do this. It's a very, very close match. High-speed stuff. Very smooth flying by both these gentlemen. Oh! Ooh, Mason has Mason. a little bit of a trip there following um, that line that Dave flew. Under 30 seconds to go. Dave did something that he probably didn't even know what he's doing there, but looked good anyway. Mason following nicely. Flying their bodies to perfection. Oy, oh, that was close. Sneaky. Was that on purpose or was that an accident? We oh, will that, never know. That was know. definitely on purpose. <laughs> that was definitely on Cheeky purpose. Cheeky stuff by Dave there. Dave doesn't do anything on accident. His flying is always intentional. <laughs> there we have flashing lights. This is it. Round of applause for the final round of the final <laughs> round. Dave keeping a close eye on Mason there. Mason trying to get away from him, but Dave is right on his heels. Size nine, Mason's shoe size, Dave said. <laughs> This is incredible stuff. Clean. Dave is flying these lines very clean. Very clean. No bust so far that we can see. Not sure what the judges are seeing, but they will let us know. Mason really stepping it up as we're under a minute of the final round of the Body Piloting Championships 2024. Mason really stepping it up, flying some very difficult maneuvers. Dave still getting under the line every time. And we are under 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It all comes down to this. Oh, tight. Oh, Dave, he catches it. Just Mason going for it in these last final seconds. Nice anti-breaker there. Haven't seen too many of those in the competition today. Five seconds to go. What's he going to do? Dave getting under it. And flashing lights, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Epic stuff. There Both the go. boys completely knackered. Beautiful show of sportsmanship. That's what this sport's all about. Unbelievable stuff. Both these guys extremely talented, but as always, there can only be one winner, can't there, Donnie? Well, Jacob and Liam almost didn't have a winner, but yes. Now they're a winner. He's got his beers. He's happy. Right, hey, let's get in there for the final scores of the World Body Parting Championships. Right, hey, boys. Don't need those helmets anymore. One of you will be getting a new helmet. Round of applause for the guys, everyone. And that was some intense stuff, guys. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Incredible flying. I'm inspired to be like you guys. As all the crowd is, epic stuff. But as always, there can only be one winner. By clear pointage, Mason Corby, everyone. Big hand of applause. And you get a beautiful, beautiful helmet, mate. Don't want to cover up that beautiful hairstyle, mate, but well done. How was that? 
Yeah, good. I uh, got forced to bring my A game for Dave. He's I've been watching him for a long time, and he is unreal. Like I'm surprised that that was the scores. Um, I couldn't felt like I couldn't fucking shake him. Like man, props to you, dude. Like he was on your heels the whole time. Mate, on my heels. It was good. Did you use 100% of what you had? I did, yeah. I'm pooped. I've been training for five months for this, so I, I just try to put on the weight. Just put weight on, be heavier. That's, that's what I thought, because I knew he had me in technique. So the only way I could get him was by being 10 kilos heavier than him. Oh, you're looking good there. And what sort of speeds are we doing then? I have no idea. Fast. Fast. Yeah. Very, very fast, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it up for Mason, everyone. Well done. And Dave, an old friend. How are you, buddy? How was that? That was intense. Yeah, it was pretty full on. Yeah, just hold it on. You've been training as well for this? Yes, but obviously not enough. <laughs> but you're looking good, mate. You're very smooth. You're right onto him for most of it. Yeah. How is it flying below the lines, trying to keep up with him and try to keep, keep in score there? Yeah, it's difficult. He's fast and he's good. He has some really nice moves. Well, well, done, well done to both of you guys. Epic, epic stuff. Big round of applause for these guys. Well done. Epic, epic stuff. Two of the best flyers in the whole world competing against each other. All winners in my book. Well done, boys. Wow, what an exciting evening, everyone. This just in, guys. So most of the busts that they've got were the bottom line bust, which means Mason's technique of just putting on weight definitely <laughs> gave him the upper hand there. Just diving harder because of the, the extra kilos. So there you have it. Well, that throws my vegetarian mung beans yoga thing out the window. <laughs> I thought you're all athletes these days. Good to see. Maybe being an athlete isn't the way. Maybe we could go back to the 90s. Maybe I'll get a chance. <laughs> well, that concludes this evening's event, guys. What an awesome evening. Big round of applause for all the competitors. And everyone has the inspiration to try and get as good as all these guys. And who is going to compete next year, 2025? Let's bring it on. Congratulations, everyone, and well done on this beautiful 2024 Body Piloting Championships. We'll see you all next year. Yoo!